What's up, y'all? Be your boy Malachi. So today is approximately the 27th. I just got up. I thought that the earlier I start, the earlier, well, the more information I can give y'all. So I am 20 hours exactly from my top surgery. It is approximately 11:28, and I am 20 hours from my top surgery. And yes, I'm sitting on a pot. <laughs> Because I wake up and I do this, and I don't want to wait. I was going to try to do a 24-hour thing, but no, I'm going to do a 20-hour thing. So, uh, to keep y'all updated, I did get my hair did because I don't feel like doing my hair or uh, having my um, sister. I had my sister do my hair because I don't feel like doing my hair while I'm going to be in surgery, so I got this done. And I still got my hair cut on the side and in the back. Um, so, I got this done, and I'm... I'm kind of nervous, but I'm ready. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. So I'm like nervous ready. <laughs> you know, um, let me put this back in the ponytail soon. I'm nervous because I don't like to be forced to sleep. You know, that's why I'm nervous. I'm ready because I'm ready for these things to go. Bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for these to go. Bye-bye. So I'm just nervous because of that. I don't like to be put to sleep. Sorry, I was cleaning my nails. And I'm ready because, like I said, I'm tired of these things. And I'm ready to do the simple stuff as far as running, jogging, jumping, like on a trail mill. I can be able to exercise, do some bench presses without leaning to the side. You know, do a lot of stuff that a lot of people take for granted. <laughs> you know, simple as wearing a tight shirt that I can't be able to do. I'm just ready to do that. So I'm just going to make a vlog for today. This is just my 20 hour thing and I'm just going to be recording stuff throughout the day showing y'all what I'm doing. So this is my morning thing. I wake up <laughs> and I poop <laughs> and I pee. I'm just being real with y'all. Y'all already know y'all going to get the realest from me. Um, as far as my doctor, he he don't, he don't have me doing anything weird. You know, like far as not being on my teeth for a while. So he don't have me doing it gratefully. I'm happy because I hate being off my shots. It throws off my panic attacks and stuff um i am trying to get more prepared for my surgery i most definitely is I'm trying to do that i'm trying to get more prepared for that uh what's another thing and i think that's it far as to 20 hours the rest of it y'all just got to see throughout the day if i come up with something i'll tell y'all So they just called me and they said that actually they moved my appointment to 11 a.m. at the Little Rock Baptist Hospital. So I'm going to be going there instead. Uh, it was at 7, 8, 30, something like that. She was just apologizing. I'm like, look, don't apologize. I was saying in my, my brain, like, you just, you did me a good one because I stayed two hours away from where I get surgery. So you actually did me a good one, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're in at eight, uh, 11 o'clock. Then I have to leave out. Let's see. So I might leave out at 8.30 just to be there on time with the been at 11 o'clock. To make sure that I have enough food to eat. Oh, never mind. You can't eat after 12. Mm. And i also been drinking water. This is empty. I drank this whole jug of water. It took me two days to do it, but I don't feel like that's good enough. I feel like I should drink more than that. So I'm going to buy another jug and try to jug that down. Trying to chug that down today. I'm trying to get as much liquid in my body as possible due to the fact that I can't eat after 12 o'clock midnight. So I have to make sure that I eat a lot today and drink a lot today to hold my body off to tomorrow, especially with the medication. So I have to make sure I get my medicine today too. Also, I have some pain medicines and some light volumes to keep me simmered down, you know, because y'all know how I get. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep checking, checking in and telling y'all what's up. I just wanted to update y'all that with that, that 11 a.m. is my surgery time. So, it just hit me. I'm getting surgery tomorrow. Like, okay, normally, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting surgery tomorrow. But no, I'm getting surgery tomorrow. Like, surgery like okay yeah, it's approximately 405 
And I just realized that I'm getting surgery tomorrow. Like, y'all don't understand. Okay, like, <sighs> surgery. Okay, I was just sitting in the mirror looking at my body. And I went to go, like, pinch, like, what they might do with it. I was just like, I wonder how much pain I'd be in. So I got my, like, nail and I pinched my uh, chest. And I was like, hmm, let me see how much pain. And I was like, so imagine it's going across your chest under your armpit for a while and I'm like wait a minute I'm getting surgery surgery <laughs> you're like oh yeah you getting surgery surgery yeah I'm getting surgery surgery tomorrow <laughs> I'm getting surgery surgery like oh my god like they gonna cut me like I'm gonna be medicated and they gonna cut me they gonna cut my chest they gonna cut my okay I just had to vent for a second yeah so I'm just catching y'all up on what I'm doing today. Today I am deep cleaning everything. I got a whole bunch of chemicals and I'm cleaning out my tub. I'm gonna clean out my tub, my sink, my toilet, basically deep cleaning my bathroom. And that I'm going to deep clean my bedroom with some new bed sheets, uh, pillows and stuff. Just wanna make sure everything's good and sanitized for tomorrow. Uh, so I'm sanitizing everything, the bathtub, everything that I know I might use. Cause I definitely don't want to get an infection. A lot of people get infections because they don't clean. I don't smoke, I don't drink. It's, that was another big thing. A lot of people have to worry about when getting top surgery is drinking and smoking because they can hire your chances in getting an infection. Uh, so that's one thing you don't want is an infection. Definitely. The thing is, you're getting top surgery so it can look good. And you don't want to walk around with one nipple. <laughs> I also kept myself busy by, uh, I kept myself busy by painting. I painted uh, acrylics for the first time today. I did an African sunset. Uh, what else did I do? That was about it. Uh, I need to feed myself more, like I said I was going to do, so I'm probably going to cook some pork and beans and rice, something high in fiber that's going to hold me over. High in fiber and uh, not cholesterol, but calcium or whatever it is. I'm going to make sure I eat a lot of that and eat a can of vegetables, beans, I'll probably can another, a lot of beans because that's good for iron because I know I'm going to lose a lot of, not a lot of blood. I know you lose blood during surgery, so I want to make sure I drink, eat some urn, because that's good for you. Uh, and that's about it. I'm just updating y'all on everything, and I'm going to do a bag check later on tonight. I hooked up my game system, so I can have my game system set up. I got my room set up and everything, so yeah. So it is a 11... 12. Sorry if my voice and stuff lagging. This ugh, recorder is so stupid. I hate it. If you press pause or anything, it makes your voice lag than what it's supposed to do. So, I apologize for that. Okay, I don't know if it's still going to do it or not. I'm not for sure. Anyways, I just wanted to show y'all what I have in my basket.
so it's like almost two in the morning and I'm still up. Katie's sleep. I just can't sleep. I'm up because I'm thinking and I'm worried about what's going to happen. <laughs> Good morning. So this morning time, 7.47 and I'm up. I'm getting dressed. I only had like three hours of sleep last night. But I got on my onesie. And this is what I'm going to wear there. I don't care what nobody say on the road. <laughs> I better have my onesie on. I don't care. I'm going to get in. I'm going to throw my onesie back on. And I'm going to get out. And I'm going to come home. And I'm going to go back to sleep. As simple as that. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. I need to brush my teeth. Yes. So, I'm getting ready for the morning. <laughs> On my way. So I'm here at that place, and here's my thing, and I got my little buddy, and I got my Katie buddy, and I got Ray Ray with me. She just <laughs> mean. <laughs> Tell her, keep them vibes at home. <laughs> my hair is so messed up right now. So I'm registered in, and now I'm just waiting on my doctor, Eric Wright, to come Show and get me. Her octopus. You know what DJ called it, the octopus? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm waiting on my doctor to come and get me, and I guess I'll record there. So it's like 11 something, and Katie eating chips. Oh, I couldn't help it, I was hungry. And I'm hungry. She don't want to share with me. I'm sorry, you can't eat, baby. Just give me one. You can't eat. Give me a crumb. No. A crumb. No. I'm so hungry You're not and thirsty. To eat. Look at my lips getting dry, dehydrated. I'm hungry. What's up, y'all? Just to let y'all know, I just got out of surgery. I finally did it. I'm happy. But I'm tired. I'm doped up. Just fucked.
only thing I have is right up, in, up and down the middle. Um, I'm tired. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, that's what I have. And that's it. I just want to update y'all on what's going on. Yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. Alright, y'all. Just took the penny pill. Chest hurting. <laughs> um, still dizzy. My tongue's still numb. Make so, yeah. sure not to bite it while you're eating. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's like five in the morning. My face look greasy. It's like five in the morning. I just drank me some water. Took another hydro. Chewing some gum because my mouth had a funny taste. My tongue still numb. Chest still a little sore. Um, I don't know if I'm up. I'm about to go back to sleep. My neck hurt because this pillow. I'm in my recliner. Um, just trying to keep y'all updated. All right. Oh, What's good, everybody? I'm just letting y'all know. I'm okay. I've been up and down, up and down. I told my nurse, I called her and asked her about my tongue being numb. She just said it's probably because the tube was resting on my mouth the wrong way. So she said probably when it's swelling and stuff goes down, then I'll be all right. I'll be able to take a bath tonight. I got my shirt off. I'm going to be able to show y'all some of tonight. She said I can't take a bath. My face is greasy. <laughs> really, really greasy for some odd reason. Um, my drains are okay. We've been figuring out how to do it. I had a clog in them and I didn't know. So we finally got that undid. I'm just keeping y'all updated on every day. I take my medicine and stuff. I'm about to eat me some applesauce. And then I'm gonna take another nap. Oh, what are you doing? Fuck, fuck. Hold on. I can't get it. It's the part I got my gauze out. Or well, you can just give me a box of 100 gauze. The big gauze. Okay, what's your Ooh, hurts? No, I got dizzy. Why? Because it was so tight, I'm trying to get some. Some blood flow. You don't need to be too much. You need to have pressure on it. Okay. Are you sure this is okay? Yes. She wanted to make sure. Yeah, they did. Ooh, yeah, that funny. was a I just want to make sure he's not lying to me. Mm -hmm. Cause he's ready to see. You do the valve pads or the what? Oh my God, pads. my chest gone. <laughs> oh my God, my chest gone. Yeah, it's gone, babe. She said, make sure you ain't oozing. You oozing? I'm not oozing through it. Yeah. Yes. Hot as fuck. Come on, Katie, I'm ready. Oh, are you sure? Yes. I'm so nervous. You're making me mad. I don't need to be upset right now. Alright, don't be upset. So what do I do with this? Take it off. Take it off. Oh. Do, I, do I put that stuff back on or we have to use more? She want me to put this back. This, I see your nipple. Oh, you this bleeding. goes back on. You bleeding, baby? Yeah, she said just change it. That goes back on? No, this does. Uh-uh. Y'all have more of that? Oh my god. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Are you sure it's okay? I got you. Here you go. <laughs> Look. Look, I'm nervous. Okay, you're supposed to be doing it's this. It's okay. <laughs> I had to do mine. Ah! Oh my god! Holy shit! It's glued. Do you have one of those pads or does that pad go back on? No, you put your gauze on. Oh. Oh my god, you look great! Oof, it's holding my needle. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Be careful. Yeah, I'm trying. I can't believe that. It looks amazing. It's so amazing. Oh my god. Okay. So this side is that swollen. And this is. This Why is that swollen in the middle? Because it was always swollen. You happy? Yeah, I am. It's, it's like a whole reveal. Oh. oh my goodness. It's a little cricket. Maybe it just had to look right it's now. It's had to look right now. Because it's swollen. You gotta leave those on. Yeah, no, I'm not touching it. Everybody saw my legs and my undies finished, so. <laughs> this is my chest. Oh my god! There you go. Tiger. The 
your balls. That's crazy. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it's good up over there. Alright. So this is day three. Um I know I woke up feeling more nauseous than I normally do. But I took a Zofra and I went back to sleep. Well I woke up around five. Set five. Now I went back to sleep. I woke up at seven. Then I went back to sleep around nine. And I woke up at twelve. And I cleaned my drains. Okay to clean my drains. And I ate a pancake, and then now my my throat hurt because the tube down my throat. So now my throat hurt. So that was about it. And I got my little sippy cup. And I tried to drink some of this because I need to poop. <laughs> and that's about it. I took it out of pain pill. Hopefully, I didn't take none since yesterday, but I decided to take another one because I started hurting. But that's about it, though. Someday, y'all. What's up, y'all? It's the day four. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Day four. I got my sister helping me. Uh, I still got the bandage on. I took myself last night. I took myself off the hydros because I felt... Like I kept having uh, withdrawal symptoms and stuff. And so I went ahead and I took myself off of them and I just switched over to Tylenol. Uh, some simple, because I ain't in that much pain. I'm in a little pain, but not like excruciating. Only when I wake up and move for the first time, then it hurts. My drain's been kind of clearish. This one still bleeds. That one's more coming out yellowish so it's about time for that one come out tuesday i gotta pull my drains out uh, i'm still wearing this just in case tongue still numb a little bit the come and go uh really haven't been sleeping much i go to sleep and i wake up like two hours later and i stay up for an hour and i go to sleep it's like that pattern but I kind of slept good today. Uh, what else? I've been changing my dressing. They say you can do it every 48 hours. You can take them off. So I, I've been doing mine. They say it every day. Some people do it every day. I just do mine every 48. Just so I can have compression still on my chest. So it won't build up any fluids or anything. And then after that, that should be it. So I'm just waiting on Tuesday. So I can take my bandages off, I'm eating and drinking normally. I had my poop yesterday. <laughs> Finally pooped. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the update for day four. Pretty much it. Hopefully Tuesday, I can, I can get these off and be more active. You know. Yep. So y'all stay continue. Still chopping this into parts. I don't know what part this one's gonna fall in, so just keep watching.